Welcome back to SoCal Islander ATV for another quick installation and review video. Today we're going to be installing the Copen Lock It Right ATV system. But in order for that to work, we first need a tow hitch ball mounted to our ATV. I ordered this high tow 3 in 1 ATV mount adapter with a 2 inch ball. To install, simply align the holes on the mount adapter with the hitch receiver on the ATV and secure in place with the bent hitch pin. This fits into any standard 2 inch hitch receiver and if you're interested in purchasing, I'll leave the link down below in the description. Now, moving on to the Lock It Right ATV system, this will secure your ATV in seconds, eliminating the need for straps while preventing forward, backward, and side movements. This is a heavy duty construction piece meant for easy install and removal when securing your ATV into the truck bed. The kit comes with everything needed for install and the only tool needed will be a wrench for the half inch hex bolts. If you prefer written instructions, I'll leave the link down below in the description. First you want to grab this housing weld mitt and run the 2 inch short hitch tube through it. This will connect to your truck's hitch receiver. The hitch tube is held in place to the housing weld mitt by 4 half inch hex bolts. 2 on the side and 2 on the bottom. For now, leave them loose to adjust as needed for final positioning later. This hitch tube can be adjusted further in or out based on your needs. Now grab the longer 2 inch vertical tube and slide the 2 inch ball coupler through it. Fix the ball coupler to the vertical tube using a half inch hex bolt. Leave this loose as well to be adjusted as needed in the following steps. You may now proceed to load your ATV onto the truck bed. Station it in its desired location you would like for it to be held in place. Grab the short hitch tube with the housing weld mitt and slide it into the hitch receiver on your truck. Align the holes and slide the bent hitch pin through and secure with the hitch R pin. I found it easier to remove the ball coupler from the long vertical tube in this next step. The ball coupler has a bolt and nut installed for shipping purposes. Remove this for the coupler to operate properly. Place the ball coupler to the ATV towing ball and lock it in place. Slide the vertical long tube through the ball and coupler and the housing weld mitt. On the bottom side of the vertical long tube is a hole to secure the pieces using a bent hitch pin. Slide the long tube to where the hitch pin is just below the housing weld mitt and tighten the slip handle to hold in place. You can now proceed to tighten all the hex bolts previously installed. Let's start with the vertical tube. You can now tighten the four hex bolts on the housing weld mitt. This previously removed bolt and nut can be fixed to the ball coupler once again. It will keep the coupler handle from accidentally loosening up. And there you have it, you've just set up your Coplin Lock It Right ATV system. Now that it's set up, the system promises an easy removal. The great thing is, you don't have to undo the entire setup. Simply remove the safety bolt and nut to release the coupler handle. 
turn the slip handle counterclockwise to loosen the vertical long tube. Pull the R pin to remove the bent hitch pin. You can now pull the vertical long tube with ball coupler straight out of the housing weld mint. If you're out on the trails, at this point you can set up your ramps and proceed to unload your ATV. To remove the hitch tube and housing weld mitt, simply pull the R pin to remove the bent hitch pin as well. You may purchase anti-theft hitch pins and leave the cold pin system in place while out in the trails. But in my case, I simply throw them in the back seat of my truck while out riding. As you can see, the cold pin lock and ride system strongly secures and prevents movements of ATVs to the truck bed using your standard 2 inch receiver hitch. The system secures your ATVs in seconds, eliminating the need for straps, let alone protecting against the ATV smashing your rear window or entering the cab in the event of a hard brake accident. Best of all, there's still an incorporated trailer hitch, rated for 2,000 pounds towing weight and 250 pounds ton weight. All that's needed from here is to make sure all your mounting bolts are tight after each use. Well that does it for this quick installation video. I highly recommend this Colpin Lock and Ride system, especially after putting it to the test on an 8 hour, 960 mile round trip up north to do some riding at Yuba Goldfields. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and look out for that video coming soon. For anyone interested in purchasing this system, I'll leave a purchase link down below in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to be up to date on our latest off-roading content. With that being said, thank you for your support and we'll catch you on the next one, here at SoCal Outlander ATV.